Welcome to Sales in a Celebrity. We're cooking katsu don tonight in our brand new kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we make our uh, pork katsu don. I've got some uh, thinly sliced pork. I actually accidentally bought the really thick cuts, and so I uh, shoddily cut them in half for maybe about half an inch thick. I, I typically go for what's labeled thin cut. Um, I'm making little slashes um, in the pork on each side. And uh, that's to help prevent the, um, the pork from curling up too much when we deep fry it. Uh, next, we've got our flour. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot. Oh, shit. Did I forget? I the forgot. most important part is having a drink. Yeah, if you're following along with us, make sure you have a drink. We've got um, mango nectar mixed with uh, some vodka today. Dan Aykroyd's vodka. It's, uh, it is vodka. And it's very vodka. It is, it is very vodka. So uh, if you're following along, please make sure you have a drink uh, on hand and... Uh, We'll um, salt and pepper this pork and get back to you for the next step. I farted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we can see his ball sack. <laughs> this isn't a Neil Breen film. So, you know, just saying. Alright, so after you've uh, made your cuts in the pork, I maybe cut this one a little too much, but that's okay, and salt and peppered it. Uh, we've got uh, some flour that we're going to coat it with. Um, Jesus. <laughs> gracious. After we've uh, floured it, we're going to dip it in an egg mix, mix or beaten egg with a little splash of water. And then um, we're going to then, uh, once we get all the egg off, we're going to uh, rub it into with some breadcrumbs. And we're going to do this. Panko, specifically. I'm just, I'm not trying to endorse any brands here. That's why I'm Isn't panko not a brand? That's a type of... Breading? No, it is actually a brand. It's a brand? It's a brand. Oh. We're not endorsed by Ponko. <laughs> we really aren't. We're not endorsed by anyone. Yeah. Nobody loves us. We've, we've used off-brand dried breadcrumbs as well. <laughs> so, you know, we just happen to have these on hand. Uh, very easily accessible. So, yeah. Uh, just do this for all your, um, all your cuts of pork. And um, a plate just magically appeared out of nowhere. Um, as well as a... Drink. Yes, uh, take a drink, um, <laughs> and maybe if you haven't finished your first one, make sure you finish that and make yourself another. We'll see you on uh, once all of this is done. Go. All right, so we've been heating up some oil on the stove. It's uh, I think it's hot enough when we put in uh, some bamboo chopsticks, which because of their pores, apparently you can see very small bubbles uh, rising pretty quickly. Uh, you probably, well actually you probably can't see this, so I'm going to show you my other method is to take some extra um, breadcrumbs, toss it in, and see how quickly it starts to cook. Yeah, that's hot enough, so we're actually going to now toss in some pork. And uh, I just barely had enough breadcrumbs to make it through this, and I'm going to start with, um, normally I would have even thickness slices. But uh, because of my mistake in the store today, I don't, so I'm trying to find the thickest ones and cook those first. And you're going to cook them for, I don't know, a few minutes on each side until they're a lovely golden black brown color. And you don't want the oil to be too hot, otherwise you'll get a lovely brown, golden brown color on the outside and raw on the inside, so... Oh, also, we were cooking rice. You can figure that out for now. We'll uh, maybe have a video on that later. Just oh. rice. It'll just be rice. Also, also, you can totally make this uh, dish with chicken if you so desire. We just happen to be doing it with pork and have always done it with pork, but chicken would be just as delicious. Um, and that rice is actually almost ready to be brought down. And uh, if you're following along with this uh, video tutorial, uh, make sure that you uh, go ahead and uh, have yourself another drink. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. It's helpful tip time. As you're cooking the pork cutlets, or chicken cutlets if you so desire, to avoid uh, uneven cooking, make sure you rotate them around the pan. This uh, helps prevent even cooking, and so then you don't it end helps up- Helps prevent even cooking? Yeah, you don't want even cooking. Oh, by the way, if you're following along, make sure you uh, pour yourself <laughs> have another, another drink. drink. This was just a helpful tip. We didn't want to kill our viewers. <laughs> We want you to be able to uh, evenly cook the pork, I promise. Or I'll chicken, whatever it is.
your meat, um, and then uh, also do the same when you flip it. Um, Ooh, that is looking nice. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it could even go a little longer, so I'm actually going to let the other ones cook a little longer. And we'll uh, come back next time. Next time? Next time on Cells in the Submarine. But but this is going to be one whole thing. We're not splitting this in episodes. I know, episodes. I know, but I'm saying, oh, oh, the parts. The parts are confusing me. All right, well, you know, we'll come back in a bit. So, I am here cutting, very thinly cutting, some onions up. You want the slices to be rather thin, maybe an uh, eighth of an inch thick. I've messed up on a couple of them. It'll be fine. And once you kind of get down to the bottom there, you can turn the whole thing around and just restart. And this is going to be for the sauce that we are going to whip up after we're done with the katsudon. Well, wait. The cup. This, this, this whatever, is Whatever. Whatever we're making. I don't even know anymore. This is all part of the same dish. Have another drink. <laughs> Alright, so we're finishing up here our last uh, pork cutlet. And uh, you can see that I've let it golden brown on... Um, both sides pretty well, so we're gonna actually take this out and put hey, it. Hey, what off. heat should you have this at? Um, okay, we we are now on an electric stove, so um, displeased. I am on fairly low heat. Uh, what I recommend is just something that keeps you at a pretty constant um oil temperature that's um hot enough to fry, because you don't want it to get it too cold, especially when you're adding things that um that cools down the oil. Um. So if you're on an electric stove, I'd actually keep it medium low uh, for one piece, and I kept it at medium for. Um, oh wait. So I, I you turned I, it off. I turned it off. So that I, meant nothing to anybody. Medium low was three on an electric stove, and for most of the um, the the cooking, I was actually at medium, which is midway through. Uh, when I'm on a gas stove, I would do it around medium, close to medium, but medium high still. So uh, find out what works best for you and what's not going to make the oil spatter and what keeps it fairly constant and gets everything nice and even. Yep. And we'll be back when we uh, get the sauce and egg mixture going. Yep. All right, so we're making... Uh, we're. We just finished uh, deep frying the katsudon and we're going to make the sauce that the onions are going to simmer in. Uh, you're going to take some soy sauce, brand not named, and for every katsudon, uh, pork cutlet that you have, you're going to add one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Uh, we have eight tonight and so I'm going to very slowly pour out a half a cup. Cause you, I think you know that you could take the top thing off that prevents it from pouring out Yeah, quickly. but I'm almost done, so, and I've committed already. All so. right. And also, if you are uh, following along with this tor tutorial, make sure you pour yourself another drink. Where's your drink? Uh, I just finished my glass of wine, actually, so I don't have one. Um, Shit. Also, to continue, uh, for every um, pork cutlet you have, you're going to have one tablespoon of mirin. It's like sake, except uh, incredibly thick and sweet, so... Uh, Don't drink it. It won't be a pleasant time. No, it won't. It's not drinkable. Um, and then after you've got those two things, you're going to, for every uh, pork cutlet, you're going to add in one teaspoon of sugar. I prefer brown sugar. White sugar is perfectly acceptable. It's really whatever you want. And uh, we'll come back in just a moment uh, when we've got all this mixed together and uh, show you what to do with the onions. Alright, so we're going to take our sauce, dump it into our pan. We're reusing the same pan that we uh, took out all the oil from. Uh, feel free to switch to a new pan, it doesn't really matter. I've added the, uh, the sauce mixture and now we're going to add the thinly sliced up onion. Um, Ceremonious, I ceremonious, I know. Oh, uh, pretty. And uh, then we're just going to kind of, well, actually, not even kind of. We're going to mix this around. I've uh, made a uh, spatula appear out of nowhere, by the way. <laughs> I, am, I am a witch. 
Because I can't be a wizard. <coughs> and the cameraman is dying. <coughs> no, I, Oliver, don't make that joke. I think uh, what you need, though, cameraman, is just another drink. So if you're following along with this tutorial, make sure you make yourself another drink and choke down. Throw back any um, drinks you've already uh, made and haven't finished uh, right before you uh, have this one. Uh, what we're going to do is actually bring this up to somewhat of a boil, a, a light boil, turn it down, and then let this cover and let it simmer for a few minutes, and we'll uh, get back to you when that actually happens. Okay, everybody. Colobacter is busy doing something else. It is now... Drinking. <laughs> he is not drinking. It is now uh, ready to be covered. Uh, and um, am I going to turn the heat down? Uh, on this, yes. So you're gonna cover it up and, and keep it at a low simmer. Keep it at a low simmer. We'll be back. Uh, did you eat one? I ate a piece of one. I will have you know it was just kind of hanging there. It was awkward to uh... So chefs, uh, get a sample. Uh, make sure if you're following along you have yourself another drink. <laughs> Um, what I'm doing right now is while the onions simmer in that sauce, I'm cutting the pork up into, I don't know, strips. Doesn't... A lot of this, I feel, is personal preference for how thick it is. If you want thin strips, go for it. If you want thick strips, I don't care. I'm not the one eating it. I make it however I want. Maybe it's like half an inch. You are the one eating it. I'm not eating what they're making, though. I mean, right, you're not. Yes, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm making this however I would, which is roughly about a half an inch thick. Uh, or yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, and uh, I've also beaten up about six eggs for this. Some of our katsudon is a little thinner than normal, so I figured I don't actually need eight. I made the extra sauce because one, it's easy to measure out eight tablespoons because that's half a cup if I do, if I remember correctly. I've had a few drinks, so uh, maybe not. <laughs> um, and I do like a little extra sauce for the rice. Personal preference. This recipe is kind of just uh, very simple, very comforting, and very like... Laid back. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Will I uh, return shortly, uh, or rather instantly for you guys? Quite uh, instantly. Yeah, when uh, our onions are ready. And make All right, so if you haven't already finished your drink and make, uh, make or pour or have yourself another one, our onions are uh, nice and tender. Uh, it smells delicious, by the way. Uh, they're very soft, and so now what we're going to do is... Um, say um a lot and uh usually i'm more graceful about this i don't know why i'm not for the video uh probably because i have a actually this is a lot more katsudon than i normally make so that's probably why you're going to uh ungracefully dump your katsudon into your pan uh maybe try and remedy the situation with a wooden spatula in your cast iron skillet and then well that was mostly your hand because of the placement of the camera. <laughs> I blame you, the cameraman. Okay, uh, yeah, so, you should blame me. Uh, dump, dump your cut up pork cutlets in there, and then uh, what you will do now, take up some slightly beaten egg. Slightly. Uh, but, nah, I've probably overbeaten it, but I think it'll turn out so. And um, this is really awkward with my right hand, even though I'm right-handed, actually. You're going to just kind of gracefully, and if you're me, ungracefully, dump this over your uh, katsudon, and uh, let it cook. Hey, hey Calabacter. What's up? Why was this royal chef mean? Why? Because he beat the eggs and whipped the cream! I'm gonna take another drink. I'm gonna finish my drink off, and then I'm gonna have another one because that joke was so bad. And if you're following me along, you should too. I'm sorry, I can't have, you know, Harry Potter and Stillborn Son every single time. I can't finish my drink while you say that. We'll be back! Alright, so once your egg has cooked thoroughly, and if you're me, it took a lot longer than it should have, 
Um, I typically cover my, uh, when the egg is cooking, um, just because I can. I don't know. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do. Uh, now that all the egg is cooked, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our cooked rice that has been done for probably about the past hour, but it's still warm and good and delicious. We're going to dish it out. Um, nice healthy portion. Uh, probably have salad on the side with this because we kind of forgot other veggies at the store today. It's okay. <laughs> we kind of forgot to make the salad too. <laughs> no, no, a salad is basically just taking lettuce, right? Right. Well, our salad. Um, we should get arugula. That would be good with it. Arugula. Arugula. And then just serve katsudon on top of rice and uh, enjoy your meal with a fork or preferably chopsticks. If you're around an Asian, use chopsticks. Six and you'll be uh, they will be sincerely impressed like a real asian not like an american asian it's well you know they might be impressed too but <laughs> anyways oh god um make sure you have a drink with this video and probably some water if you haven't already yeah you might want to have some water um and uh drinks I five water one <laughs> and that's and a five to one ratio everybody <laughs> Hopefully you all <laughs> enjoyed this episode of Cells in a Submarine cooking uh, katsudon. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.